elegant looking, functional, and with a neat tool that might come in handy. Lanicom of Lanicom Views. Previously, we featured Yumi DG A9 Pro, an elegant looking and well rounded phone with a special tool, a contactless infrared thermometer. And now, we will feature the non pro variant, the Yumi DG A9. But before we proceed, if you are watching now, I would really appreciate clicking the subscribe button. It would help me and this channel a lot. Now, let's proceed. Together, let us experience the Yumidi G A9. To start, here are some notable specs of Yumidi G A9. The MediaTek Helio G25 processor, 3GB of RAM, 64GB of storage, 13MP main camera, 8MP ultrawide, 2MP depth, and 2 LED flash. In front, 8 megapixels, a 6.53 inches 720p display, and a 5150 mAh battery. And what makes this phone special, the contactless thermometer. This is the white box of Yumidi G. This is a simple box textured with the Yumidi G branding at the center. Upon opening the first layer, you will directly see the Yumidi G A9 phone. The clear case is pre installed. The phone is covered with protective film. As you can see, the case protects the phone well as the camera bump and screen is not protruding. Next layer is an envelope containing the SIM ejector tool and documents. Next is the compartment for the charging brick. Also, the USB-A to USB-C cable in red color. And that is it. The phone is ready to use. This is the Yumidi G A9. The one that we have here is the granite gray color. This is also available in peacock green and blue. We have a single color all throughout the body. I prefer the simplicity of the color as it makes it more elegant or formal looking. When you look closely, there is a fine line pattern. And this pattern back is textured. The advantage of this is that our fingerprint won't mark on the surface. And this gives good feel when holding it. It is a unibody design all made of plastic. This is not bad as it makes the back panel more durable. The size is 164mm tall and 77.14mm wide with 9.45mm thickness, weighing at 204 grams. It feels just enough on the hands and feels comfortable too. Let's check out the components on the sides. At the bottom part, a microphone, a USB-C port for charging and data transfer and it's also OTG capable, and the loudspeaker. At the top, there is the headphone port. On the left side, we have the SIM tray and keyhole. Also on the left, we have the customizable button to launch applications. It can cater two nano SIM cards and another slot for micro SD card. On the right side, the power button and the volume keys. At the back, we have three cameras, two LED flash, and the thermometer sensor. The cluster is enclosed on a rounded rectangular bump. At the center is the fingerprint scanner. And over here is the Yumidi G logo. In front, a glass screen, no branding specified by Yumidi G. We have the ambient light and proximity sensor around here, the front facing camera at the top center, and the ear speaker. The Yumidi G A9 has a 6.53 inches IPS displayed measured diagonally, 720p resolution at 20 by 9 ratio. We have a camera notch on the upper center of the display for the cameras. This is a good display for a 720p resolution. No edge light bleeding noticed. This is just enough for our daily use and media consumption. On the sound department, A9's loudspeaker sound is just enough. Like other budget phones, more on the treble side, loud enough for watching videos and notifications. Good thing we have a 3.5mm headphone port here to use our favorite headsets. Comment kayo at pag-usapan natin ang mga views ninyo and learn from each other. This is Lanicom of Lanicom Views. As a communication device, it can connect to 2G, 3G, and 4G cellular networks. Both slots can connect to 4G and can use voice over LTE. For Wi-Fi, it is dual band capable of 2.4 and 5 GHz. It can also be a Wi-Fi hotspot. It has Bluetooth, has GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo for location identification. It also has an FM radio, has several sensors equipped in Yumidi G A9. For the phone sensors, it has ambient light sensor, proximity sensor, accelerometer, gyroscope, compass, 
fingerprint sensor for security. The speed is just average when unlocking the phone. The face unlock is also here. And the sensor here at the back is the thermal scanner. Let's now talk about the thermometer here. During these times, we frequently take our body temperatures to monitor ourselves, usually needed in health declaration forms when we go to work. This is where the feature gets handy. To activate, open the thermometer app, point it to the subject 1 to 3 cm away, then click measure or the volume keys to start the reading. It can also measure temperature of objects too. For battery and charging, this is equipped with 5150 mAh battery, big enough for today's standards. For casual use, it can last for more than a day or even two. It has a 10W charger in the box that can charge the phone for around 3 hours. Good to see a USB-C type port for a low-priced phone. Yumi DG A9 is running Android 11. This is one of the first phones to include Android 11 out of the box. Swipe from left to right to change home pages. We do not have an app drawer as all apps are here in the home screen. Swipe down for the notification panel and switch toggles. As this is Android 11, you can enjoy Android 11 features and also security patch is quite updated. There are two extra apps here pre-installed, the thermometer and the Zello push to talk app. Additional here in the settings is to set the function of the customizable button to activate a specific app or a command. Also the Dura speed to optimize processing on a specific open app. The phone is using a MediaTek Helio G25 octa-core processor with 3GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. This processor is an entry-level processor for gaming, photography, and 4G connectivity. Responsive enough for our daily communication needs as it can do also multitasking and split-screen applications easily. Umidi G A9 is equipped with Helio G25 with PowerVR A320. We can include games and apps on the Dura Speed to optimize the running app. This is ideal when we are using this phone for gaming. Let us now test some graphic intensive games and see how it performs. On Call of Duty Mobile, we have low graphics and high frame rate. I was able to play Call of Duty with no issues here. Controls are responsive and the gameplay is very playable. Graphic elements are vivid and run smoothly. On Asphalt 9, set in highest graphic settings, it can run pretty well. Once the game is fully loaded and stabilized, we were able to play it smoothly. On Mobile Legends, high graphics with high frame rate available. With stable connection, we were able to play fluidly with no lags and stutters. In League of Legends Wild Rift, it has 60 frames per second enabled, high model quality, and high resolution. I was able to have fluid gameplay on Wild Rift, no major stutters or lags encountered. Able to have stable frames per second while playing. And now let's go to photography. This phone has total of 4 cameras. At the back, a 13 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth camera. This is aided with 2 LED flash. In front, we have an 8 megapixel AI camera. We have a simple camera interface here. On the top, we can toggle the flash, AI capabilities, and HDR. We have the settings button here to adjust the settings on the camera. On the lower part, we have the switch for the ultra-wide and digital zoom. We have the modes here, beauty mode, video, portrait, night mode, and pro mode. On the main mode, we have decent looking pictures with natural colors. It performs really well on bright lit subjects. Here are some sample shots. Here is a sample photo of the ultra-wide lens. Here is a sample of the portrait shot. A sample of night mode camera. 
beauty shot and the selfie front camera. On video, it can record up to 1080p resolution. No digital stabilization here, so better move the camera slowly. Yet, it captures vivid colors. To wrap up this overview, what are the advantages of getting Humidity GA9? Primarily, you buy this if you find the thermal infrared scanner very handy, very useful to monitor your body. Second, the design. I find it simple and with simplicity, there is elegance. The texture is good as fingerprint does not mark on this one. Third, if you want to experience Android 11, this is the latest version to date. With stock Android, the OS is very light and no bloatwares here. Lastly, the price. This is an affordable phone. It gives all the basics you need on a communication device. For calls and meetings, posting great photos on social media, and casual gaming, you are well covered by the Umidi GA9. Speaking of affordability, how much is the Umidi GA9? This is priced around $119 or 5,990 pesos. That is it. The phone I presented to you, the affordable and very capable one with the unique extra feature, the infrared thermometer. This is the Umidi G A9. This video was produced in cooperation with Umidi G. You may like and follow Umidi G Facebook page to know their latest promos and updates. Join their giveaway contests and get to know the Umidi G community. Link is in the description. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na katulong ito para ma-experience niyo ang phone sa pananood lamang. Subscribe to Lanikom Views. Follow niyo din sa FB, Twitter, and Instagram ang Lanikom Views. Comment kayo at pag-usapan natin ang mga views niyo and learn from each other. This is Lanikom of Lanikom Views. Hanggang sa muli.